you guys. I hope you guys are doing good today. So make sure you guys go on to lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea for all your tea sipping needs. And also if you're interested in getting an on the go tea bottle, we just got some restock. So definitely make sure you guys check those out as well. So thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. Welcome to Lovely News Network, and I have another news story for you guys, and it's coming from our first favorite state, wretched ass Florida, okay? So a lot of you guys wanted me to cover this story, so I was like, you know what, what the damn hell, okay? So what's going down is that we have a 33-year-old man. His name is Brian DeMessonor. I don't know how the hell you pronounce that shit. Anyways, he's been arrested for basically tricking straight men into doing gay porn, okay? So what's going on is this. A lot of folks are trying to figure out, well, how did he do that? This makes no sense. These guys had to be gay. Well, what he did is that he pretended to be a woman on Craigslist, okay? He dressed up as a woman, pretended to be in heat, said he was a lonely housewife. He wanted some, you know, cock or whatever. And so what ended up happening is that, of course, a bunch of horny guys started contacting him. And he had been running this website for four years. And basically, the website was called Straight Boys. And the whole premise was to trick straight men into having sex with gay men, okay? So what happened is that he would call them over, they're thinking they're about to get some head from this female, and lo and behold, it would be his ass giving them top, and then he would post this on social media. So his scheme basically came to an end when somebody saw themselves on social media, on one of the porn sites, receiving head from this guy, and um, he was basically the butt of all jokes, no pun intended, and he's like, hold up, I never, you know, had or with a guy, that was a woman, I didn't know nothing about this. He went to the police, and this is how this entire case got blown wide open, okay? <laughs> no pun intended. So anyhow, this entire situation is a hot damn mess. I want you guys to go ahead and check out this news clip and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Right now a man is facing federal charges accused of duping men into performing sexual acts. But that's not all. Local 10's Ian Margle has details from Miami. Brian Denimastier had his first appearance today. He is accused of having sex with men who didn't know he was filming them and then posting those videos online. Take a look at this mugshot. This is Brian Denimastier, the man federal authorities say duped men looking for sex for years. They say he would pose as a woman online using the screen name Susan Leon33326 and then have sex with the men he met, filming the entire thing without their knowledge and posting those videos online. On Wednesday, Denimastier appeared before a federal judge for his first appearance. Cameras aren't allowed inside, but we were there as he fidgeted in his chair, seemingly nervous, before being appointed a public defender, now facing two counts of illegal interception of oral communication and three counts of record-keeping violations. At the same time as he is dealing with those federal charges, he's also dealing with a local case, accused of having sex with a minor. The arrest affidavit says officers showed up at the Floridian Hotel and found him in a hotel room with an underaged boy. It continues saying, quote, there were leather handcuffs, sexual lubricant, and a leather whip in plain view in the room. In that case, he's facing multiple charges, including unlawful sexual activity with a minor. Right now, Denimastier is still in federal custody. He will be back in court next week, and of course, we'll keep you posted with any updates to his case. In Miami, Ian Margol, Local 10 News. Honey. All right, so you guys just saw that news clip. So this entire situation is insane. What the hell is going on in Florida? Like this shit, I mean, who, who thinks of, of this stuff? Who thinks of this, okay? You know, this man was doing this for four years years straight he had over 600 videos so it just shows you how thirsty and desperate some of these men are and a lot of them they're having sex with him unprotected not knowing so who knows that this man has an std hiv anything and he's just passing this shit to these guys and then they're going back home to their wives their girlfriends so this entire case is just sickening he has since pled guilty to all this fuck shit so he's definitely looking at a lot of time i think the part that i do find most disturbing with this situation is that in many of the ads, he was saying that she's a lonely housewife, the husband is off in the military, you know, fighting for the country, and you know, she's just a lonely, you know, military wife. And so for these guys to think that it's okay to go to this woman's home, regardless if this was a woman or a man, 
and go sleep with somebody who's in the military fighting for the country, you know what I'm saying, to go sleep with his wife says a lot about these guys and how trifling they are, okay? It's not your job to sit there and sling beef to lonely housewives. Maybe if you slung your damn beef stick to your own wife or girlfriend, you wouldn't be in this situation. Another thing, I believe this, I believe a lot of these guys are possibly embarrassed because when I look at this picture, this so-called woman, she looks very damn manly if I do say so my damn self, and I also see an Adam's apple. So I think a lot of these guys, you know, once they got there, they probably realized that it was, you know, a transsexual person or a cross-dresser, and they just didn't care. Because by then, they're in there, it's deep, you know, the person's willing to have sex with them or give them head, they just didn't care, and then now they're going to court trying to play it off and act embarrassed and saying that this was unbeknownst to them. I wouldn't be surprised if they went there knowing fully well that this was a drag queen or whatever the hell he wants to call himself, and then still decide to engage. This entire situation is just damn sickening, but why am I not surprised, Florida? Why am I not surprised? Anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire ratchet-ass situation, honey. Once again, coming from our first favorite state, ratchet-ass Florida. All right, deuces. Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.